Today's show is sponsored by Indie Film Hustle's Filmmaker Process. We provide filmmakers with professional services to get their films or series funded, finished, and distributed. For more information, go to filmmakerprocess.com. How did you come up with the idea for Red Dawn? Because that was a pretty awesome idea. Just a concept was very, it's very cool. Yeah, the original, uh, it was titled Ten Soldiers, T-E-N. And, you know, I did it for the, uh, not only the fact there were ten people involved, but I also like the idea of ten, T-I-N, soldiers mm-hmm. as well. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really know where it came from. I think at the time what it was was in the early 80s we were, you know, there was a, there was a lot of drum beating against the Russians and stuff. And people were going, oh, let's go to war with the Ruskies. And I thought, how stupid. And people didn't understand why the Europeans weren't behind us and stuff. And I was like, well, the reason is because they just had a horrible war about 40 years ago and they know what it's like. And, you know, it'd been over 100 years since we'd Americans had had a war in our own backyards. And so we were sort of removed from that experience. And I thought, okay, what would it be like if we actually had to fight a war on our own turf? What would it be like for people to really have to go through that, to fight a guerrilla war like they did in World War II in Europe? And that was really the genesis for the for the screenplay, where the idea came from. And so I sort of incorporated that into what was going on at the time with the with the Russians and all. And, and it came out the way it did. Uh you know, John Milius took it and yeah. I think he made it a little more jingoistic. I, I don't think he did. He did. He made it more jingoistic than what I intended it to be. What what I wrote was more like Lord of the Flies. Mm. Uh, and John was trying to make more of a political statement. Um, and I just wanted to show this is what war does to people. This is what it would do to you if it happened here. Anyway. Yes, John. Uh, John has that. Uh, does does that. <laughs> <laughs> with his films, to say the God least. Bless. God bless him, man. God bless him. To watch the rest of this interview, head over to IndieFilmHustle.com.